Good afternoon, all. Welcome in. Figured I would do a video on Baldur's Gate 3 one year after its initial release. We are on my Tiefling Cambion Neki. And I figured uh, I'll do this review and let people know why the game is still a viable game. So, to begin, the Graphics in the game are really top-notch, even after a year later of its initial release. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Kenyank. So we've got uh, Lizelle and Shadowheart along with us in this. And as you can see on the little background image, we've got Reyna, my drow, on another tune. And got Shadowheart riding shotgun with us. And we got Avalanche here also riding shotgun. He's in the background meowing. So as you can see, just from starting off, the graphics are really excellent. And the storyline is really good. As you can see, the voice acting is is exceptional. And the combat is obviously turn-based in this game, so it's really cool. And Larian Studios just did a very good job all the way around, and it's still probably one of the most popular games out there. Combat's really easy. It's a click and shoot, as you can see. Another good point about this game is it's constantly receiving updates. Uh, looks like Galarian Studios has worked with NVIDIA and the other graphics companies to keep the graphics and the drivers updated. Every time a new update comes out for the NVIDIA graphic driver, uh, the game just looks better and sharper. So that's another very good bonus. So the Larian Studios is doing updates. They've done six major updates since the game released. Plus, they're, plus they do hot fixes also, and that helps to keep the game uh, right, new and refreshed. And as they're doing the updates, they're also continuously updating the graphics. So like those cutscenes that you saw, those are all high definition. And the voice acting, the special effects and stuff are top notch. So they really did a good job on the game. Then the other one is that they're adding content. Every time they release a major update, they add new content to the game. Whether it be additional voice acting lines, or additional cutscenes, or additional lines of code for NPCs, it's just really good. Then what they also do is they actually add in a sense of humor or sarcasm to what people would actually say to each other Kind of like in real life, like I'm a very sarcastic person and I'll, I'll just say I, I've been spoken to many times about it and there's only and it's just kind of like real life, like, oh, you know, can't stand being around this person just because they talk too much or they don't understand this person's sense of humor. So then the storyline, let's just go over the storyline. Uh, I had 
access. To early access and Dale gave them a lot of feedback on stuff and some of the stuff was just flat out bugs, but they uh, fixed those bugs upon release. And I, I want to support a company and I will support a company that continuously updates the product and fixes it. No choice but to keep going. Light on my feet. Unlike other publishers who, who just, you know, don't care. And they leave you high and dry, like they got your money. They got your they got your seventy-five dollars. And now they're Hasta la vista, don't care about you, and you're just stuck. Not not with um, not with uh, Larian Studios and not with Boulders Gate 3. So they're on the hook to maintain this, which is nice to see. Can't afford to let up. Then I think another point that I want to make is um, the mod community out there for Boulder's Gate 3 is just insane. They're impressive. Hands down to those guys. They do such a good job on stuff. Uh, for uh, for example, Survival is all that matters. Neki here, she's uh, a Cambion, a Draconic Sorcerer Cambion. And she is not part of the base game. Well, there's the great community out there, mod community, that uh, puts these mods together, like the wings and the outfits and stuff like that and other things and the weapons and so forth. And they just do a great job all the way around. So. And then on... And on top of it, like I was saying earlier, there's there's just um, interaction w w pretty much with everything. You know, like we're on this Nautiloid trying to escape it, and we're just working our way through it. You are no longer required. So even the bad guy is like after us now. And, and as you can see, the, the detail... The graphics are really good on this. And... There's another update that's coming out here. Don't know when, but it's update seven and they're gonna be adding more content and more support for the modding community. And they're also gonna be bringing that to the um, consoles uh, also so console players will you know get the benefit of you know the cosmetic packs the mods and stuff like that the hairstyles the different classes so yeah, there's a lot of good support a lot of good support for the game and it just continuously gets better it's like a fine bottle of wine. It as it ages, it just gets better with new content and add-ons and uh, new cutscenes, new lines. So it, it's definitely worth continuing to play in 2024. I played the game in early access and all the way through 2024. So it's definitely been over a year now. That I've been playing this game, and it's definitely Don't worth it. Alert. Don't waste a step. So I mean, even your your avatar here, you know, even talks to you and stuff like that, and tells you what's going on, and it's just it's just a good game, you know. And it's fun. And I think that's the most important thing for me is uh, it's a fun game.
my personal take on it is when I get home from work, I want to relax, chill out, not be not be stressed, and enjoy a game. You know, I know there's other games out there that are a little more fast paced, but they have a tendency to be kind of stressful for me, and I really don't want to have to be stressed out after a long day of work and having to deal with, you know, other things. So, but those are some of the reasons why Baldur's Gate 3 is still a viable, playable game. And there, there's just so much love for the game from the storyline to the studio supporting it to the uh, community out there for add-ons and for mods. And it's just a very well put together game. And if all the studios would take the time to do what Larian Studios did, their games w would be just as good a and they w would not suck. And they need to take lessons from Larian Studios on how to make a good game and how to keep people entertained. Like I said, I've been playing this game for over a year and I have multiple different classes uh, in, in this game. Everything from Paladins to warlocks to sorcerers to vampires to succubuses to dryads to pixies and it's just it's an awesome game larian let the player base and the community do what they wanted with the game and larian even better yet said yeah have fun with it enjoy it you've bought it it's yours we we've pretty much left the code open for what you need to do you know, for, for mods and add-ons. And they just, they care about their community. They want the game to be good and they made an excellent game. So a year from its initial launch, still very viable and still a very great game. I mean, it's just can't beat it. And every time I play this game on a new character, I'm, I'm always finding new spots, new secret spots new hidden spots, new hidden treasure. So it never gets boring. I haven't even played any of the origin characters yet, such as Lizelle or Shadowheart or Gale or Asterion or Will. And that's kind of next on my list to see what their storyline is. So all, so the characters I've made so far have been just custom. And they're just, it's just a great game. So in conclusion, Boulder's Gate 3, still very viable, still fun to play, still challenging, and I'm still finding new things to do. And I hope everybody has a great day, and that's going to be a wrap.